Yo, what is going on everyone in the XRP community? I hope you guys are having yourselves a fantastic day today. As usual, uh, we do have some really good information today actually directly from Ripple. Yes, guys, I know they have been extremely quiet lately when it comes to just any updates regarding Ripple or XRP. And honestly, I've been, I mean, I'm not going to say I'm sick of it uh, because last time they were quiet for a very extended period of time, they all of a sudden had swell and announced the launch of X Rapid, uh, which is now being used by 10 financial institutions and is scaling every single day and there could be more on right now that we don't know of because uh, those 10 that were mentioned by margin della tin from ripple uh, that's as of like a couple of months ago and they're getting two three clients a week so we could be honestly be having a lot more extra rapid clients that we don't actually know about quite yet and seriously them being quiet is good news because that means they must be really busy and they are going on all cylinders right now focusing on one thing and that is getting x rapid to be a mainstream blockchain institutional grade product. So what other information do I have for you guys today uh, besides today's stream? Well, let me show you. One, uh, XRP took a really good drop and, you know, as according to my thought process, I did not trust uh, this candle right here when it was down at 39 cents. This was, you know, a couple minutes before I got the video started or was getting everything ready for the video, uh, I didn't start it to begin with, and already now we're already wicking and back over the 40 cent level. So again, we're already treating 40 cents as a real nice support, and the market does not want to go below that. Uh, basically what happened is about an hour ago, a crap ton of Bitcoin was moved uh, out or into Coinbase or something like that on Whale Alert. I mean, it was, guys, it was literally like 168, 100, 200 million dollars worth of Bitcoin got sent through. It was something crazy like that. Uh, and then all of a sudden this market drop happened. So honestly, I... You know, it might be important pointing some fingers to the uh, initiator of that transaction over there. Bitcoin is actually dumping a lot more right now. It's in the 7K range, but XRP is actually still over 40 cents, so really not too bad uh, compared to what Bitcoin's doing. But again, we're already wicking. We have three hours and 40 minutes till candle close, so I think we have a big opportunity to eventually get back up there. And as and you can see here, guys, on this candle open, it already wicked all the way back to previous levels. It already went up there, so. In the next three hours and 40 minutes, I don't doubt that that candle close could be back up there. Honestly, guys, again, might be a big scary dump right now, but honestly, I don't trust these things sometimes. Sometimes I really just don't trust them. I mean, look at that. We already wicked back up to right where we were before the dump happened. So, guys, honestly, the buying pressure is there for sure. Okay, so... <clears throat> Good news of today. What is it? This is Ripple raising the bar, reporting on volume and sales of XRP. Now, let me give this let me give this to you guys the real honest, just down to earth way. They are essentially saying they are going to be selling less XRP. Yeah, you heard that right. Uh, they are now going to be selling less XRP, not to institutions. The institutional sales of XRP will stay the same. The OTC uh, transactions really don't have any effect on the market. Uh, they do have an effect long term, you know, because of distribution and how that relates to the network. But basically, guys, they are going to be they are going to be selling a lot less XRP. I mean, at least 50 percent less XRP on the actual market, uh, according to this actual report right here. So if you guys are still confused and don't really know what I'm saying, basically, Ripple sells a certain number of XRP every single day. It's like uh, like a less than 0.5 percent or something of the total market. Or the total market volume, or it might be higher now. I think I think it is a little bit higher now. That's why they're dropping it down so low. Um, uh, basically, they sell XRP each day, and essentially that's what funds operations. I might be seeing that as a bad thing, uh, but again, uh, they need to fund operations. They need to pay salaries. They need to have you know. I mean, guys, you know. <clears throat> All the stuff that goes into creating and having a functioning operating business, I mean, there's a lot, I mean, a lot of money that goes behind that. So XRP, yes, is one of their tools uh, for actual for income, uh, but again, people have a criticism on that, but in the same way, we don't have miners, so we have selling pressure from Ripple, and just like Bitcoin, since they don't have a good company like Ripple behind them, uh, they have miners that, you know, again, all the miners in China, all the uh, the huge uh, Chinese mining farms. What do you think they do with the Bitcoin every single day? Yeah, they sell it because they gotta pay. They gotta pay some funds. They gotta they got bills. They gotta pay. So I mean, all blockchains are gonna have a source. Uh, are gonna have an entity that's going to be selling the assets. It's it's, it's gonna happen in some way. So uh, Ripple sells XRP to fund operations for the business. But I think now. The XRP programmatic selling is not important because, again, they have a huge list of 200 clients that are, you know, all paying clients and they pay Ripple licensing fees uh, every single month to use their technology. So and now they got, you know, all all kinds of investors. They got, you know, the 14 billion dollar war chest. So Ripple really is in a in in, in in terms of financially, they are in a really great standpoint. And again, Ripple, the company is worth like 30 billion something dollars in assets. I mean, they've got a lot of people backing a lot of investors and they got a lot of money flowing through the institutions. One of the best startups in the world. Anyways. 
we're really getting uh, off topic here, but that, I just wanted to explain what this really, I really want you guys, I really want you guys to understand what this actually means. And that's why they do it. They do it because they got to fund operations. So they are actually going to be dropping the XRP sales at least by 50%. And this is because that the report came out uh, that uh, basically uh, nine up to 90% of Bitcoin's trading volume is wash trading. That just means it's the same entity throwing the Bitcoin back and forth on the same exchange. It's really just fake volume at the end of the day. Uh, so essentially because of this Bitwise report uh, from the SEC, uh, they're essentially you know stating that the volume stated on CoinMarketCap was actually very, very inaccurate. And the thing was, Ripple was basing those programmatic sales on the coin market cap volume. And then after, you know, further uh, essentially research, they realized that, hey, yeah, we're selling too much XRP. We're going to tone it down. So right here, uh, they said it. Uh, where is it? Where is it? It is somewhere in here. Okay. So in the short term, this means Ripple's sales of XRP in Q2 2019 will be uh, substantively lower as a percentage of reported volume than in the previous quarter with our uh, stated target of... Uh, 20 basis points for programmatic sales of XRP volume as reported by CoinMarketCap, likely dropping to less than 10 basis points. So they are at least going to cut uh, the sales in half, if not more. So honestly, guys, what is this? This means that Ripple is now at a point where they don't have to rely on selling XRP to fund operations because they literally got investors everywhere. And I mean, guys, there are some gigantic trillion dollar institutions backing this company and investing into it. You got to understand that. And so they really don't need this XRP programmatic selling and selling the XRP, I bet really helped out Ripple in the early days, but they've matured to a point where that's not really their main source of income anymore. Their main source of income is actually, you know, collecting licensing fees and actually doing business and selling software. That's what they do. So really cool stuff. They're going to be dropping it at least 50%, if not more. So again, uh, this will be a lot less selling pressure on XRP, which is just better for the price. So honestly, guys. Great information. Uh, so yeah, so honestly, instead of basing <clears throat> the volume uh, on coin market cap, I imagine they're probably going to start basing it off of XRP charts, uh, which would be this legitimate figure right here. And man, look at that XRP ledger payment volume almost catching up to 24 hour. Really awesome. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning the video today. Really do appreciate it. Hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to smash the like, subscribe, check the links in the description if you want to support the channel. Check below the description if you are trying to get some fresh Ripple XRP merch. And make sure to hit those post notifications so you never miss a video stream. And as always, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next one.